the God of hope. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Ghost. Romans 15, 13. We all need to abound in hope. Hope is the artist of the soul. Faith fills us with joy and peace, which brim over in hope. When faith brings from God's word the materials of anticipation and expectation, hope transfers the fair colors to her palette, and with a few deft dashes of her brush delineates the soul's immortal and unfading hope. Faith thus excites hope to do her fairest work, until presently the wails of our soul become radiant with frescoes. Our faith rests on God's word, and hope rests on faith, and such hope cannot be ashamed. It is the anchor of the soul, which enters that which is within the veil, and links us to the shores of eternity. Hebrews 6, 18-19 Faith rests on the promises of God. She does not calculate on feeling, is indifferent to emotion, but with both hands clings to some word of promise, and looking into God's face says, Thou canst not be unfaithful. When God has promised aught to thee, it is as certain as if thou hadst it in hand. Faith not only takes the word of God, and rests her weight on it, but often when hard-pressed goes beyond the Bible back to God himself, and argues that God is faithful and cannot deny himself. Because God is God, he must ever act worthily of himself. It was thus that Moses argued, when he was with him in the holy mount, to do thus would not be worthy of thyself. Number 1413-20 We may be assailed with a hundred questions of doubt in the day, but must no more notice them than a barking cur. A businessman once said that when he is convinced of the rightness of a certain course, he is sometimes assailed by doubts which arise like the cloud mist of the valley or the marsh gas from the swamp. But when thus tempted, he turns to the promises of God, often reading three or four chapters of the Old Testament. This brings him in touch with the eternal world, filling him with joy and peace and abounding hope in believing through the power of the Holy Ghost. They shall not be ashamed that hope in him. Prayer make me, O Lord, to know the hope of thy calling, the riches of the glory of thine inheritance in the saints, and the exceeding greatness of thy power towards them that believe. Above all, grant me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of thyself. Amen.